Hi everyone, today we're going to convert our Cherry Mobile Alpha Morph Charger, this is a Windows tablet. We're going to convert the AC adapter to a regular USB cable so we can plug it into our um, portable power packs, our AC wall adapters, things like that, instead of having to use their custom AC adapter here. Now if you check the specs, it's rated at 5 volts, 2 amp, and when I put this on a watt meter, it does indeed charge this at 2 amp. Now our new cable might not charge that fast, but I think it will be okay. So the first thing we need to do is find a donor cable. Uh, basically we need the USB plug and we need to chop off the end. So that's what we're going to use to convert this one to a regular USB cable. So we just undo the screw at the top, and then once the screw is removed, we can just pull off the front cover like this. Inside you'll find where the wire connects and we basically just cut them off there and you'll be left You can basically throw this away now or keep it as a spare parts and you're left with this cable here Which is the barrel jack for our alpha morph and a red and black wire Which we're going to match up with our USB wire. So here's my donor cable This used to be a printer cable um, and the wire is actually pretty thick Which is good because that's going to help us get our maximum current across the cable So all I'm going to do is join these together so I join my red to red and my black to black. And now I'll plug it into my USB watt meter, which is plugged into my Zen Power USB power bank, and we'll see if it charges okay. There we go. So it's drawing around seven watts right now, and it's charging at around 1.4 amp, which is pretty reasonable. Remember that depending on the power bank you're using or the AC wall adapter, it's gonna make a difference with the charging rate. But for me, anywhere between one, one and a half amps is pretty good. So I think I'm gonna keep this cable and do a proper solder connector on these. There we go. And I'll now use some electrical tape to isolate them from each other. Now that both wires are taped, I'll bring down my heat shrink tubing. All I have to do now is use my lighter to shrink the tubing. And now we have our finished cable. It might not be the prettiest, it would look a lot better if you cut a black USB cable instead of a white one, because then it would all sort of merge together. But this is okay, you can see I've got some flex there, and it's a nice secure connection. So let's plug this in and see if it works. We'll plug one end into the Alpha Morph, and then plug the other end into our Watt Meter, which is plugged into the Zen Power USB power bank. And there you go, it's consuming 7.15 watts, one and a half amp basically, so it's working perfectly. Now let's test it with this Apple charger. This is only a one amp charger, so we're probably looking around maybe five watts. Let's plug it in. It's charging at 4.8 watts, one amp, which is the maximum of this adapter, so it seems to be working perfectly. So the good thing about this is that I now have a lot more opportunities to charge this. I could plug it into a computer, I can plug it into a portable power pack when I'm out and about, I can plug it into a regular wall AC uh, USB adapter like this. It's a lot more convenient and a lot more options than just the original charger that they give you. It may look a little bit ugly, but um, you know, it works. So yeah, if you enjoyed this and found it useful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. And you can find me on Twitter at Whitey Gadget Addict. Thanks for watching.